you relive it, but I'm a personal believer that everybody has their little gift that they can leave this world. It takes somebody to have walked through it to truly understand. And so I'm trying to take the experience that I've walked through and help these people, help these families. I think the main thing right now is to educate not only every resident in Delaware on what the meaning of Gold Star is, but also eventually every American to be educated on the meaning and to continue to honor every one of our Gold Star families that reside within the state of Delaware in a personal manner that's suited just for them. Judy first approached us on a project that she was doing, Hometown Heroes Banners. And Judy was instrumental in getting Gold Star license plates for those families here in Delaware. And also she was uh, the catalyst for the Gold Star Family Day, which is November 14th. A number of veterans organizations are discouraged that more Gold Star families don't come to the events. And I'm trying to convey to them it's not that they do not appreciate what you're doing, but it's hard for them because they have to relive it over and over. And their wounds from our current casualties, their wounds are just so raw, so fresh. Holidays and his birthday and everything are really, they, it's hard. Like Mother's Day and Father's Day was tough. But we try to handle it as best we can. I can sense him more at the Pentagon than I can anywhere else. Because every, every time I'm there, I can feel him around. We were very proud of him that he did this. And we're proud, you know, Judy's keeping this going, the memory of all these the men and women that we lost from Delaware. I didn't know what a gold star was until I became one, and, and that's sad. You know, you're placed in this position not by choice, and it's, I guess, good to have a group of other people like you. Some people ask me if it's harder to go to functions to memorialize, but, you know, I always say, well, we think of our loved one, you know, every hour of every day. It's not like we only remember them on those special days, so we don't need those things to remember them. But I think it's a very nice way to know that others are proud of him, and, um, and they do mean an awful lot to us. I do attempt very diligently to write the families on the anniversary date of their loved one's death and also their date of birth. And I just try to do that on holidays also because, you know, as families gather for respected holidays, the 4th of July, you know, Veterans Day, Memorial Day, whatever, there's always going to be an empty place at the table for these families. She's done so much to make sure that all of us never forget the service and sacrifice of those who gave their last full measure for our country. A number of the families have said to me, you're so strong, but I remind them, it took me a long time to work through where they are right now.